My name is Jules Kosen and welcome to this guitar lesson. This guitar lesson I will talk about modes. Modes are steps in the major scale. For instance, let's say you have a C major scale. You all know this scale I think. If you play those notes, there are no sharps, there are no flats in there, only C, D, E, F, G, A. B and C. When you play the same notes but you start on the second note and that's the D note, this one, but you stay in the key of C, then you have a mode and it's called the Dorian mode. It's like a Dorian scale. We'll stick to those two in this lesson because I'm going to explain uh, later because you can continue that of course. You can start on the E, on the third of the major scale, C major scale, and it sounds like this. They call it a Frisian scale, so we, we can continue that, but for this lesson I will stick to those two, C major and uh, Dorian, like major and Dorian. Um, when you play, for example, D Dorian, people say, well, you just play C major. Yeah, you just play C major. But only have, when you play like in a band, you will play a D in the bass and not a C in the bass, but notes you're playing are C major, are the notes of C major. Um, so if you're playing and you're improvising in C major, then you don't have the feeling that you're, you're playing a Dorian scale. So what's really important is if you want to play modes, uh, you don't have to really adapt the notes you're playing, but you have to adapt what's been played uh, accompanying um, the solo, so what's been played in the chords. Now a very simple example to do, uh, it will be a little theoretical, but let for instance if you're in C, you have uh, like a C chord, the most common thing you play in, in the key of C are C, F and G. So if you really want to hear like C major, then you play these three chords. There are also other chords in the, in the key of C major of course, but let's, let's stick to those three. The thing is, if you really want to hear the C major uh, scale, or you can call it C Ionian mode, then leave the C in the bass. Um, maybe it's good to, to hear that because I've, I've played that so you can hear how that sounds. you only heard a C chord, F chord and a G chord, but the C was in the bass. So you really heard C major. So let's move on. I did an improvisation on uh, E Dorian. So what's E Dorian? Uh, e is the second step of something. So if you move back a whole step, um, you will see that you're in D. You're in D major. So it's the same like I explained uh, in C major, only a tone higher. So when you're playing a chord progression, uh, which, um, which is an E Dorian, the two chords I use are G and A. G and A are the fourth and the fifth step in D major. So I will use these chords to, that, that you can really hear. I'm in D major, but I won't play G or A in the bass. I will play E in the bass. So that's the second step in D major. And then you really hear E Dorian. Here we go. Here. 
So that's what you heard. So you heard the G and the A chord with an E in the bass. So I was playing E Dorian over that. So what's a good way to play E Dorian on the guitar? Instead of playing D major, which is perfect, because all the right notes are in there, you have to really play to that E note, because that's in the bass. A very good way to do that is to play E minor pentatonic as basic shape, and then add two notes to it, like the F sharp and the C sharp, and then you're playing E Dorian. So, for instance, so if you want to play E Dorian, then use the pentatonic shape with these two extra notes. Um, like this, where you have the E minor pentatonic, well, I will play it here. You all know that. The two notes you add are the F sharp and the C sharp, and if you do that, you're playing E Dorian. So if you have the basic like a pentatonic shape, and then add these two notes, then you're playing to E, and you're playing in D major. So it sounds like this. So that's the E minor pentatonic shape, played in the 12th position, added with, uh, with an F sharp and a C sharp. So so I will show you, uh, uh, I'll play like basically I will play the E minor pentatonic shape and add these two notes and it's, it's, it sounds far more natural than you're playing in D major, which, which sounds a little awkward. Okay, so I will play E minor pentatonic and then the extra notes. So you hear that I'm playing basically E minor pentatonic um, with the extra notes, it sounds Dorian. Let's go. nice things you can play when you're playing uh, E minor pentatonic and combine that with those two extra notes so you're playing uh, E Dorian is you can do a lot of cool things like um, like bendings. Uh, this is what I call the Jimi Hendrix bending where you bend these notes like for instance I have the B, uh, the B string and up in the air I will change it to a, a G string I go uh, if you're playing um, E Dorian, you could do that twice. You could do it. Uh, let, let, let's 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 call this one. Let's call this one. One, two, three. So for the finger, you can do the same bending. Or the fourth, which I'm using the, my my ring finger for that. You can also do that on uh, on the B string and the high E string. It's the same thing. That's a really cool uh, thing when, when you're playing E Dorian and you use E minor pentatonic as a basic shape. So uh, whenever you hear a, a Dorian, like a Dorian, Dorian key, people often ask, well, when you're using Dorian, it's a lot of, there's a lot of songs like, like blues related music or, or, or funk or disco, where you use, let's say for instance, um, I'm an A minor playing this. But you hear a lot of times, like, like uh, the, the famous song, I don't know if it's in, in A minor, uh, like uh, Freak Out for Sheep. Now, what's going on there is, it's like, it's not A minor, because there's no D major chord uh, in the key of A minor, that's D minor chord. So what's going on here is we play A uh, Dorian. Uh, or A minor pentatonic on A Dorian because you have like two chords you have the C chord and you have the D chord when you you will use an A in the bass you're playing four and five like C and D in G major but you're starting 
on an A minor. It's the second step again. So lots, lots of these things are Dorian scales to play. So you have, a, 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 I think a, there's a lot of songs. I don't know for sure, but you have, I think some Pink Floyd songs which have like A minor, oh, no, uh, sorry, E minor. Like, like uh, one more time. Like. So that's like a minor six chord. If you have these chords, you also play, um, in this case, it's also E Dorian. So it's a, it's a good combination to use as a basic scale minor pentatonic and then play the two notes which belong to the Dorian scale. It doesn't matter which key you are. But it really sounds cool if you if you leave like a pentatonic shape as a, a basic form to play and then just uh, fly out <laughs> and, and play some uh, some other stuff. So that was it on uh, E Dorian and on Dorian mode. Um, I will discuss the rest of the modes, Phrygian, Lydian and the rest of them um, in other lessons. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and uh, like and share. What else is there? <laughs> So until next time, uh, have fun and um, good luck uh, on playing that. Bye bye!